This is Nace Care's battery automatic scrubber model TTB 1117, 17-inch automatic scrubber, also available in the 20-inch version TTB 1120. When you unpack the machine, you'll find in with the squeegee box, there's a fuse. You need to put the fuse into the fuse holder to activate the machine. Once you have assembled the machine, you want to put it on charge. Come to the charging cord in that package that's in the squeegee box. The charger door is a little port right there. Plug the charger in. This light comes on to tell you that there's power in the wall and you'll hear the slight hum of the charger. Once the machine is finished charging, you want to unplug the charger cord. Also included in that package is a red key that you need to insert and turn clockwise to activate the machine. To mount the pad onto the pad holder, you take the core of the pad out, center the pad over the mounting mechanism like that and this just presses straight in. To remove it at the end of the job, take this and pull it out and remove the pad and clean it. To mount the pad holder, simply mount this onto the drive cap and twist on. To remove it, twist off. The brush deck is automatically locked in the upright position. To put it into the operating position, you need to unlock it. And to unlock, take a little bit of the tension off it, push in on this bar, and that scrub deck will float down. There's two ways to fill the clean water tank. One of them is to pull this hose out of this receptacle, roll this cap off, and put it up to the tap and turn on the tap. Or, you can take this entire large cap off, and if you already have a hose on your sink, take the hose and fill it up. After you've filled the 11 gallon tank, you want to use the PCS friction in a mixture of 2 ounces per gallon. To mount the squeegee, there's two things you need to do. You need to pull this first pin out on this horizontal bar, mount it over the second bar, put the pin in place, pull out the second pin, lower the squeegee cable down, put this in the center of these two bars, slip the pin through to hold it in place, and your squeegee is mounted. And then add on the hose onto the receptacle at the bottom of the tool. To raise and lower the handle to a comfortable position, use this gray lever to lower the handle. On the control panel, there's a series of lights. When it's in operation, these battery indicator lights are on, and they're green, orange, and red. When it's in the green mode, it's in run function. When you're getting low in charge, it'll turn amber, and if it turns red, the entire machine shuts down and needs to be recharged. There's a high-low system, which is involved in the, in the vacuum. If you have uneven floors, you want it in the high vacuum mode. If you have very smooth floors, you can have it in the low mode. To change the mode out of high, push that button, the light goes out. To get it in high vacuuming power again, push that button and the light is on. That light tells you that the brush is turning. This light indicates that the vacuum is on and you can also hear it. This indicates that the water is coming out of the machine. If that light is not on, there's no water coming out of the machine. The solution control valve is in the body of the machine on the left side. It's a red valve arm. If the arm is parallel to the floor, it's fully open. If it's perpendicular to the floor, it's fully closed, and you can vary the flow rate in between. To turn on the machine, you pull up on these levers on both sides, and when holding them up, push down on the safety button, which activates the machine. You want to make sure all these lights are on. Each tank has its own drain hose. This bottom translucent or white hose is the clean water dump hose. To remove that, hold it up in the air after you remove it from this holder, roll this cap off, lower it down and drain it. The recovery tank or dirty tank up on top also has its own drain hose. Pull this black hose out of this holder, twice hold it up in the air, remove the cap, lower it down and drain it. When you're finished scrubbing and after you drain the dirty water tank, there's two things you need to clean out. 
After you remove the cap, this primary basket will be filled with little bits. You want to just turn that upside down and remove all the junk out of there. And also, under this float assembly, there's also a filter that you pull out. And you'll find this will load eventually on the screen with lint. You just get your thumb and roll that lint off and put it back in again. Also available is an off-aisle toolkit, which turns the machine into an 11-gallon wet vac to get into areas where the machine is too large to reach by itself. To mount the system, remove the hose from the squeegee, insert in the back of the wand. To activate the vacuum for this off-aisle toolkit, go to the center switch and push it twice. 